Okay, we got the PW6 reassembly hosted by Gary. Yeah, it's just a big, okay. big, big so this opening. Is, this is the drill. You'll notice that the cradle is hoisted up to keep the tire off the ground. That is important because if you lower the cradle right now, the tire will hit the ground and the glider will fall over. So keep it up in the air, just like every other, I think just about, just about every glider has got some kind of mechanism to hold it up in the air while you're putting the wings on. The right wing goes on first always. They're heavy. Oh, and they're a little ungangly, so it takes a number of people to do it. And what's the reason for the right wing always going going on first? Uh, you, you can't do it any other way. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You can put the other one on, the, but then the, you'll find out you can't get the right one on. So that's the way it was made. Yeah. Because the, yeah. Yeah, okay. the pins go in halfway to hold the right wing in place yeah. until you put the left wing on, and then the pins go in all the way. So if you put the left one on, the pins are in all the way, and you can't get the right wing on. You'll learn that. Makes sense. Real quick. If yeah. You, if you try and the same out. thing in reverse if you're taking it apart. Left wing off first, right <clears> wing <throat> off second. Drag pins back here should be pulled forward so that the glider, the wing can be put in. And the pins should be all the way forward. Is the, P is, look the, at those is the PW5 have the same sequence? Identical. Absolutely okay. identical. Okay. Oh, that's the same pin. No, it's a separate. It's, a, it's one drives the other one. Okay. All right. All right. As always, with pulling the wing back, make sure you don't drag, oops, oops. You don't drag it against the trailer. Make sure the pads are on the trailer. Okay, you want to sit there. Somebody else can come back and help you with the tip, too, because it's going to get real heavy. Pins. This one was incorrect. They should always be closed when you, when you assemble. The reason for that is if you look on the fuselage, the pin can drop onto the fuselage and you'll crack the fuselage in there if that's on there. If it's all the way closed, it can't drag on there and crack the fuselage. So they should be all the way up like that. Just going to lift up and set the wing back just a bit. Okay, setting it down. Just make sure somebody get on the trailing edge here and just hold it stable. This thing rarely comes apart, so it's important to make sure we got everything lubed up well. And I keep super lube in the back cabinet in the panel. And that's what I prefer you use for lube, because it doesn't gum up and become crappy like that luber plate or lube plate, lube plate whatever. Okay, we're probably going to need somebody, as soon as we rotate this thing, we're going to need somebody on the leading edge. Leading edge. Okay, walk it out. Leading edge right here where you yep, are. Yep, yep. And somebody on the trailing edge on the other side. I'll get the leading edge. Once we rotate it, it's going to get ungainly. Okay, go ahead and rotate. I'll help here with the leading edge. All right. Just be careful where you Okay, come forward. There, back up just a bit. You see how that hit yeah. right there? Yeah. Right in there. That's, That's real light fiberglass. We don't want to we don't want to damage it, so come in. Uh, 
All right, it's got to be down then. Down. There we go. The fuselage will tilt. Yeah, that happens. The fuselage will rotate. Okay, we'll just put it on the sand. All right, still a little bit forward there, but that's all right. Okay, now notice where the pins are. Half, the drag pin is all the way in on this spar. The pins are in the halfway position. That means they go through the spar for this wing and hold this wing in place, but not the other one. Okay, and that's, so that's a nice the, system because halfway. you don't have the problem of putting the other wing in, pushing this wing out. I do have another uh, support now. I'm putting it in. Yeah, we're raising and lowering to get it to get it to fit in. There's a drag pin in the back, which you saw the opening for. Now this pin goes in the other side on that you know, the long bar. Uh, you see it when it comes out. Again. That goes hat to the hat. Okay, pins. See this one's open. Yep. I want that to be closed. Yes. Now we got to watch out. They don't bump the end. Yeah, they've done that before. Yep. Okay, just set it right there. That's why that's a new one. <laughs> that's why it looks different. Okay, we need somebody to grab the trailing edge again. Okay, back and lift and take it out. Rotate whenever you want. Okay, come forward. Come forward and up. Up a lot. Up, up, up a lot. Okay. Up some more. Up some more. Keep lifting up. Up some more. Uh, go back just a bit. There we go. Okay, up a little bit more. Roma, is that pin free? It should be. It can't go in that far if it's not. Okay, up some more. Okay, up some more. Okay, you let her down. We are locked in. Okay, so you know they're locked in when these little tabs are out. And you look in here on the little red locking pins. And the pins are all the way driven back. That's what you're going to see. Gary, how many attachment points for the ailerons? There's uh, four connections total, two for the spoilers, two for the ailerons. Okay. And then one, of course, for the elevator. Okay. No, I think you move the... Uh, there we go. In, but it has to drop over both sides. You can inadvertently connect it up and have everything test out with it connected only on one side. And then flight, it will drop off. Yeah, I've done it. That's the infamous Frank Reed looking out the window saying, is this the first ever goddamn double toe release failure in the history of SOAR? <laughs> <laughs> Only with a few more expletives. <laughs> okay, you see? It's hard to see in here. Right, yeah. but you see it drops okay, on this pin one. and yeah. this pin? Yeah. You could have it where it was only resting on one pin. Uh, in other words, the control arm would be back a little bit or right. forward a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. And the locking right. pin will still go, the sleeve will still go over it. What will happen in flight, of course, is that the whole thing will just fall off. Okay. And you'll end up without flight controls. Now, the other, okay. the other thing is it's just good practice to turn the little handles for the drag spar down. And that's only because it 
relieves you from hearing a noise on takeoff when the wings load and unload and the handles drop and go clunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't mean a damn thing except, startle one, you a little except bit. what? She should, she should stay there. Uh, I guess not. I guess yeah. it wants to move. Okay, you can see the elevator pin and the uh, red uh, safety tab prior to uh, assembly. Okay, somebody needs to just hold the rudder over. She should, she should stay there. Uh, I guess not. I guess yeah. it wants to move. Okay, you can see the elevator pin and the uh, red uh, safety tab prior to uh, assembly. Okay, somebody needs to just hold the rudder over. There for a second while I Let me just get the little ball things set. Okay, come down. There you go. Okay, the two front pins are in. This is the critical pin. It can't be above or below the elevator, or you don't have flight control. And then the next critical thing is this. Lift that up. When you pull the red tab down and slide that pin in. Lift up on the end of the yellow of the, the stabilizer. There we go. And then that tab should come up and lock that pin in, and you should not be able to pull that pin out. Good look at that and see, uh, see where that tab is and what's holding that. If you put the tab, the red tab, on top of the pin, it won't hold the pin in, and the pin can come out. Yeah. And it's been done that way. Okay, red tab underneath the pin. See what he's talking about yeah. now? There's a part of that. Say that again, Gary. The Still locking pin critical. for the horizontal stabilizer, it is not a bad practice to just grab the end of it on pre-flight and pull to make sure it is locked in and won't come out. Thank you.